and voices. Who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices. Who from a mother's arms hath blessed us on our way, with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us, and keep us in his grace, and guide us when perplexed, and free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be. Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. So let us come to the Lord, who is full of compassion, and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy upon us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose Son, Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself, Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The man, Elkanah, and all his household went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there forever. I will offer him as a Nazarite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, 
and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord as long as he lives. He is given to the Lord. She left him there for the Lord. The second reading is from the letter to the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal This child is the light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let us affirm our faith in the oneness of God and in his church, which holds us in the risen body of Christ. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
So now in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. O God, the creator and preserver of all, we pray for your people in every kind of need. Make your ways known on earth, your saving health among the nations. Especially we pray for this nation, France. We pray for its health services, for its security forces, for its government and for its people. We remember the United Kingdom. We pray for every nation shut down and in fear. And we pray for those whose task it is to maintain civil society, food and transport. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, guide and govern us by your good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Especially we pray for all those who are part of this chaplaincy in France, in the UK and across the globe. We pray especially for those who are particularly at risk of the coronavirus. We pray for those who are stressed and unhappy at quarantine. We pray for those who work in essential services and for those whose livelihood is precarious. We pray for the Diocese of Europe. We pray for our bishops, for our chaplains, and for Christians throughout Europe as they seek to witness to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in body, mind or estate. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Give them patience in their sufferings and bring good out of all their afflictions. We remember before God those who we bear in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, we remember those who have gone before us in the peace of Christ, and we give you praise for all your faithful ones with whom we rejoice in the communion of saints. Especially we pray for those who have died and who remain unburied. We pray for the repose of their souls and for their families who mourn them. Lord, in your mercy, all this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Through the prophet Isaiah, God says, As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. the spirit of discipline, may we triumph over evil and grow in grace through the fruits of your spirit and this Eucharist. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance and through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his Holy Gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. 
Grant that by his merits and death and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences, and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, then, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Merciful God, Lord, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let all the
all creation bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless us. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.